October 24th, St. Maglory, Abbot of Dole in Brittany. St. Maglory was born in Brittany, or northwestern France, toward the end of the 5th century. His noble and pious parents placed him, while young, under the tutelage of St. Samson, his first cousin, who had become an abbot in England, but had later returned to Brittany and became bishop for his monastery of Dole. Under this excellent master, the young man made great progress in the various branches of learning and in virtue. St. Maglory, after his ordination, was first made abbot of a monastery. He governed that monastery with prudence and holiness for fifty-two years. When St. Samson died, he was elected to replace him at Dole as abbot. Despite his hesitation, Based on his sentiments of unworthiness and incapacity, he accepted, but remained for only two or three years, as he was already very aged. Then, with the consent of his people, he retired to a desert where he built a cell. But soon his solitude was interrupted by souls who came seeking his prayers for their cure or deliverance from evil spirits. A wealthy man, cured of leprosy, which had afflicted him for seven years, gave him at first half, then the entirety of the island of Jersey, which was the rich man's property. There, St. Maglory built a new monastery in which 62 religious served God, and in their arms he died a few years later. In the church he received the viaticum from the hand of an angel, and refused afterwards to leave it, repeating constantly the words of David, the royal psalmist, I have asked but one thing of the Lord, and will not cease to ask it of him, that I may dwell in his house all the days of my life. Great miracles were effected at his tomb, which was placed in the same church.